sign up on the weekends. You know, that was stupid. Hmm. And they called, they called up the company and everything. Toys for Tots. Mm -hmm. I like the nose. Yeah. It's pretty. It's the community service boy. Let's. It's very spicy to me. Um, I don't. It's not very. I, I would probably put a three on body. Acidity. Maybe three or four. That could be all. Finish is it's still lingering. Good deep fruit, <clears throat> but it's not too sweet. I think it's literally a sweet wine. Do you? I gave it three for sweetness. I mean, I was going to give it a two. It's at least a two. But it's really, for me, it's real, it's spicy. It just continues. Very, very hot. But when we say yeah. sweetness, we're talking about residual so sugar. Good. <laughs> residual sugar. Do you think residual sugar is just ripe fruit? No, not ripe fruit. Residual sugar. I think Flat it out tastes like it was sugar. chapelized or something. Like juice concentration when it was added. Or it could be. When I think I want to drink this wine on a hundred degree day outside. <laughs> Why? So you can get drunk within minutes? And then sign up on the community hot. service. Yeah. Put them to work. I have a hard would have a hard time saying this is I think this is fermented dry. I just think it's bright, overdone fruit. I think maybe it was, I don't think they like left it in during fermentation. I can see chapelization, but I don't know why. I think also it's sweet oak or something coming out. I think this is a poor representation of like, I don't know even saying like, I, mean, I would go as far as saying like Zinfandel with how fruit forward and sweet and since it is. But, um, they over here were saying some semi thought it was Napa. I don't think. Mouthfeel texturally, it's like alcoholic and watery to me. There's nothing like dusty and interesting and heavy textural about the wine, so I have a hard time saying it's high quality Napa Cab. Yeah, right, I can right, see right. oak it's chips tough. being used, I can see it being bad New World Malbec. Bad. I don't like the wine. No, I don't think it's seven Lee Cab. Um, it tastes like it comes from Lodi, some, like some dead hot area where the grapes. It also could be dried out grapes, too. Could be dried out grapes? Well, you know, so therefore, you know, an Amarone approach without being an Amarone, it doesn't taste anything like a good Amarone. Do you have anything about acid on this? It's all tannin, right? I mean, it was just like gripping tannin. Extraction. It was just very extracted, very heavily wooded. Yeah, I think there's more extraction than wood. It's not, there's not a lot of heavy fruit tannin. It's all coming from the skins. I don't know what the goal was with this wine. There's a lot of wood on there too, that's why. All I, think I know is I need a dentist after I swallow it. USA. USM number one. Actually, it's USA all the way, but. Whatever. No one knows. 60 or 70 bucks on the show. Made in America. Is this. I, if I had to put. It, you know it's not it came as cab, is it? No. no. It does taste like it. I just opened that. Or I didn't open it, but I just brought that bottle. This is expensive, I guarantee you. I don't yeah. think it's Cabernet. Brother, shoot my face and drink a bottle of this. <laughs> well, shoot your you guys shoot your own face then drink a glass okay, of so I'm going to say I'd rather drink Shane, this. It's a little dramatic. Face, I'm going to have to go <laughs> drink a glass of wine. I'm going to buy this wine at a restaurant to impress a lady. <laughs> you're gonna follow the no, you're going to follow the... No, I'm sorry. You're going to have to say why. No, she I'm will sorry. Fall you're going to have community service because you're going to be a piece of date right there. <laughs> that butter, that uh, butter uh, pecan lady. This, this yeah, wine. I, no, come on. No, don't do this. What is this? I was... I, <laughs> we, you have to... Price. Price. Oh, it's some absurdly overpriced. Three hundred and eighty-four dollars. No. Okay. I bet it's... I bet it is Napa. It's something. I think it's... I don't think it's any vineyards... They're saying it's their best wine. I think it's because it's where it's from is where they're putting so the price tag on it. I think forty-five dollars a bottle, and they're pushing for it. Um, Higher. I think maybe we tasted that it's duck horn. Mm -hmm. um, not, not duck horn. We tasted the, the uh, cake bread. This doesn't taste anything like. The no, it 
What is yeah. it? It's one of those like cake rib is drier and didn't have the Yeah, I would say too. To be cake rib. Uh, all right, we're all thinking it's at least fifty, rib. maybe up to seventy-five dollars. <laughs> what the right, hell is this? Oh, it's another nap, nap a cab. Oh, screw. I mean, I figured that's what it was gonna be. So it's a taste of the wine. So that's what. What is that price? For more, fifty bucks. But it doesn't have any like depth to it. I don't get anything it's actually that's not bad. It's, 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 it's just wine. It's everything that's wrong Buy with the California wine. Is this Philippe Malcolm? I don't know. This is the, it's it's the same as this. So this right. is the purchase. Why would it have the depth of so buying somebody else's juice? It, it may be. He consults the 487 wineries and probably is it. And his wines are notably sweet. I don't care. I bet Who you. Who is it? Who's the winemaker? Melka. Philly uh, Melka makes the wines, and about one third of the wineries are consults. Whatever yeah, that is. Right I'm telling you that wine has residual sugar. Where is the love? But I, I don't know. I don't think it has the concentration of all dried grapes. Bless Bless you. Bless you. Has the concentration of what? So I don't think it has the concentration what, what of like a dried grape. No, no, no. It wasn't put out on the map. It tastes like it. seed very well. For fifty dollars on the shelf, this is actually the best perfect. If you want a big solid nap of wine for fifty bucks, it's not bad.